Hey everybody, welcome back to Northern Land Plays. Well, the Binding of Northern Land, really, because, you know, there's my name. And all the characters have been reskated with my face. Why don't we try? I always wanted to see what I look like in an eye patch. Maybe I should play as Judas at some point to make my, you know, baldness get covered up a little bit. You know what? That looks pretty good. It's a little bit off center, but, uh, you know, I appreciate that this probably took a lot of work and, you know, it certainly it's better than half of my thumbnails look at the very least. Uh, in any case, oh, come on, you're going to give me technology again right off the bat. Half of this, like, actually, this is different technology. Uh, we had technology too last time. It's actually covered up with the eye patch, weirdly enough. Uh, but anyway, you know, in the last video we called it the Binding of Northern Line. It's kind of like a spotlight to show off this new mod uh, that basically replaced all the characters with my own face, or all the characters' faces with my own face, which is totally cool. I'm having a really good time with it so far. We're gonna get back to, you know, the Binding of Isaac series, as the case might be. Why do I feel like I just finished that Isaac run that I posted uh, probably yesterday at this point? I feel so fast and so powerful already. Is Technology 1 really that much stronger than Technology 2? I mean, if so, that's totally cool, but good lord, I did not think that was the case. Um, just had so many keys, I decided we might as well check out the, uh, possibility of getting a room, or sorry, getting an item from the shop. I would love to get Book of Revelations, obviously, if this is a, uh, secret room. It's not, but if it was, we might have had a chance. Maybe we'll get Pageant Boy here. But in any case, we're gonna get back to, you know, the Canonical series. Not that there's any kind of canon or story necessarily going on uh, in the Binding of Isaac series by any stretch of the imagination. But, you know, we're going to focus on trying to beat the game, we're going to focus on trying to learn some stuff as we go along, and we're going to try to focus on uh, producing some entertaining and engaging commentary that may or may not be uh, related to Sugar Ray's Fly. By the way, this is weirdly enough, I, I would have tweeted about it, but in the U.S., when you're roaming, data is six dollars a megabyte, at least coming from Canada. So that's, uh, you know, that tweet might have cost me you know, as much as the lunch that I was coming from. But in any case, uh, we finished up lunch and we were getting ready to pay and uh, leave the establishment. And Sugar Ray's Fly came on, and I was like, you know what? I still don't get it. All around the world, statues have crumbled for me. The only song, the only lyric in the entire song that makes it seem like it's from the perspective of water. But let's be honest, you know, a lot of erosion themes happening on it. But then people were like, they raised some valid points. Like, for example, how did mothers, or how did Water's mother die when he, when he was 25 years old? This is uh, some commentary that's going to make zero sense to you, unless you have been really religiously, pun intended, I guess following the Binding of Isaac episodes recently. In any case, though, we're gonna move on here. What I'm just saying is this is not necessarily a mod spotlight anymore. We're just gonna use this mod uh, occasionally when we play the game uh, in the normal series just to make it a little bit more uh, entertaining, shall we say, a little bit more varied. In any case, good run so far. You know, we've got uh, two keys, which is a, an important part of this. We can get a third key if we want to, but then we be in a weird situation bomb-wise. Uh, we got technology one or two again. We have technology one now, but we had two before. Uh, and that's totally cool. Uh, I guess we're gonna do a pill extravaganza. We're Kane, so they can't really be bad. They could be bombs are key, which I wouldn't like, but... Alright, well, it happens, so be it, I guess. Uh, tears upgrade is fine, and... Tears upgrade again. That's cool. So if we were not Kane, I really truly believe that those would have been bad. Uh, but instead, they became Tears Upgrades, or at least one of them would have been bad, but they became Tears Upgrades, and all of a sudden now, not so many big problems, and actually technology is firing substantially faster now than it was before, so this is awesome. I feel kind of like, a, the reason I was like, oh, we got, uh, technology again, it's not because I dislike technology, it's because like, ah, oh, you know, we already saw how technology fa affected my face, so, um... It's a little bit disappointing in that respect, but in other respects, it's great. Now, of course, technology does scale, um... Well, I shouldn't say, like, the larger the beam gets, the more damage it does, because that's a reversal of causality. Uh, but the more damage you do, the larger the beam will get, and the better that will probably be for us. I don't really want to take the, uh, hourglass here, but I suppose you might as well, because we don't have any other spacebar items available to us at present, and, of course, Kane starts with zero spacebar items. Uh, and... We'll, I guess we'll save this fool card as long as we can. Uh, but yeah, we'll totally trade a bomb for a key in this situation. Then maybe we'll go fight the boss straight away. Um... Might as well check out the curse room because, you know, this health that we can pick up. Halo of Flies is going to make the boss a little bit easier to fight. What else could we do here? I would love to find the secret room, but there's uh, a lot of possible locations and we only have one bomb. But still, who dares wins, right? Maybe this would uh, allow us to get a chain reaction or a domino effect, which could really uh, help our run in a great way. Sadly, no, but that's okay. Um, so but there's definitely one full heart up here, so I should go for that. Uh, I didn't want to open any of those golden chests just in case, and uh, cool. So we're not going to be able to go to the shop necessarily. I mean, we can go to it, but it, we're probably not going to get anything from it. Uh, and I'd say we're, we're basically okay to go then. We'll fight the boss and see how this hourglass works out for us. I almost never use it. Uh, I have a feeling 
you know, it's going to be pretty good against an, an enemy that kind of relies on his speed to track you down. So we'll just uh, basically destroy him before we even have a chance to do anything else. No deal with the devil, which kind of surprised me there. I kind of felt like we earned it, but we did get an HP upgrade and we go down to the next floor, feeling very positively about how uh, we should do on this floor. But again, uh, we saw in the last run, the best laid plans of mice and men can uh, erode in certain circumstances. I'm pretty sure that's not the exact uh, direct quote, but I will never learn the exact direct quote, because why ruin a good thing? Um, beautiful. We can use the hourglass once every two rooms? If so, it's actually an item that uh, I think I've underestimated to a certain extent. I'm not going to use it on this room, just because I don't necessarily think it... Uh, really works with the hour or sorry not hourglass i don't necessarily think it works with the turret guys i mean it, obviously the effect still works but i don't think it, it might be as desired as on other rooms if that makes sense like maybe they just take forever to pop up and that's going to cost me some time uh it's a shame because i really like finishing that room as quickly as possible um that's another easy one right there we're doing so much damage right now that it's actually hard for me to justify using the hourglass but i'm gonna try to use it as much as possible because even if you make a mistake and use it on a room that you shouldn't use it on uh obviously it pretty quickly becomes uh usable again so we have no bombs now and three keys that's actually a good thing because that is going to allow us to open up the shop and both item rooms on this floor we definitely have the money necessary uh to go to all of them as well well i mean obviously you don't need money to go to the uh item rooms in almost, no, in any circumstance. I'm trying to run through, like, a circumstance where you would need money to go to the item room. I guess if you picked up, like, a portable slot from an item room, you would want to have money to actually be able to use it. Um, but apart from that, it's not really worth it. I would stick with the hourglass instead of the portable slot in this situation anyway, uh, because it seems to be working out pretty nicely for me. There is our first item room. I do wish that I had kept uh, the hourglass for this room, but we used it on a similar room before, so no big deal. I'm actually coming around to this item just a little bit. I'm trying to think what would make it better. I guess nuns have it. You can use it a couple times per room. Uh, bum friend, I will pick up, but I've got to be vigilant about getting my money before he gets it because he's going to be a greedy little ding dong about it. And uh, you know, he, he can drop consumables for me, which is awesome. And it's it's nice to have bum friend in the late game when money is no longer really that valuable. Poison touch also a good item. Uh, but for now, he could actually mess up some of my uh, attempts to go into the shop. So you know, it shouldn't be that bad. I just have to be vigilant. The other nice thing about bum friend, obviously, is that he can snag that money that you can't get. Maybe you have to use a bomb to get it. Maybe it's over a chasm or something like that. Bum friend can just fly over, pick it up, and maybe turn it into a key or something that could really make a monumental impact on your game. Now, I probably could justify opening up a golden chest or something, but I uh, don't really want to. I uh, would rather just kind of hang on to these keys and save them for the next floor. Obviously, I think it's pretty clear we haven't really uh, you know, made a staggering improvement in our run with the item rooms on this floor, but there is still a shop remaining, a compass, a... I uh, probably wouldn't even take the blue candle at this point. I love the... Ah, oh, bump friend. Dinglehorn. Uh, I love the blue candle, but uh, it kind of, it wasn't the reason I lost the last run by any stretch of the imagination. Uh, but it was, you know, a factor in it. Because I think I got too distracted. And that's not, again, that's not blue candle's fault. But I think I got too distracted trying to use the blue candle and kind of messed up uh, just using my actual tears, which is not really that smart. And of course I get the two trinkets that I'm very confused about the effects of. I believe that Curved Horn is a damage upgrade. Uh, whereas Goat Hoof is a speed upgrade. So I'll stick with the damage upgrade for now. Hopefully we'll be able to replicate yesterday's run and get a Mom's Purse as well, so I can get uh, both of these, or get two trinkets going on at once. I love having a damage increase. I guess having cancer would be a little bit better. That's a sentence that I'm never going to be used to saying. And we will uh, continue looking for our shop in our boss room. Still would love to get a deal with the devil. We do have two boss fights here, which means that's probably a little bit more likely. Bum friend is- No, nah, bum friend, you dick! Basically just a straight up asshole. He took the nickel on this floor. Uh, but that's fine. He did drop a, a red heart, which I needed, but it could be better. So there's our shop. Uh, I definitely want to play Demon Judgment. That's, uh, and we'll definitely take that as well. Uh, yeah, I definitely want to take Demon Judgment, but, uh, we're gonna have to maybe be a little bit cautious about it. Hopefully he just pays out quickly. I was hoping that maybe I could freeze him or something. It's another tears upgrade deal, which is fine. Uh, before we really do anything too crazy with this, uh, I'm gonna go back in here and buy this. Might as well shoot the poop just in case there's some money involved in here. There's not, unfortunately. Uh, I, w I really want to play Demon Judgment. If we beat the bosses without losing too much... This is uh, definitely an hourglass where you're in. If we beat the bosses without taking too much damage, then there should be a lot of surplus uh, HP that I can just pick up. But that's going to depend on whether I take a deal with the devil as well, of course. Uh, but for now, it it's looking pretty good, but... You know, a, a Demon Judgment payout could be amazing for us. It could potentially snag two deals with the Devil on this very floor. So, uh, he can also drop other consumables for us. That would be nice, but first things first. Uh, we have another Half Heart that we can afford to invest in here. Sadly, no. You know what? I'm going to go a little bit deeper on this one. Just because we're here. And the tarot card is... 
Uh, the Fool. So we have two Fool cards. Not really that useful. Um, <laughs> you can save Fool cards for the mom boss fight and then uh, use it to potentially snag a deal with the devil. I don't think it does it. I mean, you know what it does for us here. It, it allows us to go to the curse room uh, without actually having to pay to leave. So we might as well just do this just in case. All right, so we'll just teleport the F out of there. Uh, might as well check out what's going on up here just in case there was some kind of uh, consumable in this room, or maybe this could have even been the, uh, like a non-dead end. Obviously, it is a dead end, but it could have been a non-dead end. Ah, and there's another heart in here. Thank you, bomb friend. That is actually bombs are key, which I'm not that interested in right now. Sorry, let's continue going onwards here. Um, we're gonna go, and I'm gonna invest another heart into this demon judgment. He's really, like, the most important part of this floor for me right now, but, uh, he didn't pay out with that pill, right? That pill was bombs are key. Okay, so he still hasn't given us anything. Um, let's continue moving onwards here. And on the left side, it should be the boss room basically straight away. In fact, we actually have a little bit longer of a wait than I expected. Uh, but yeah, it couldn't have been too, too far away. And now is kind of a moment of truth. These, uh, next two rooms will decide a lot about how this run's gonna go. Obviously, um, single cube of meat, I'm totally cool with. We'll take an orbital. Uh, it's not the greatest item in the game, but it does give us the potential to get, like, a really nice, uh, foundation for later, if that makes sense. So, getting this cube of meat, uh, is not gonna be the game changer that I necessarily would have liked it to be, but that's okay. Uh, he also didn't drop any HP, which is what I was more concerned about there. Um, in here we're gonna get Little Chub. So obviously, like, both of these items were set. That is an easy hourglass use there. Uh, both of these items are set, so we don't really have any choice. Uh, not that we had any choice anyway, because we can't reroll, but uh, we knew what we were getting. And we have... Okay, here's how I'm, what I'm struggling with right now. We have a uh, little chub. Sorry, little Chad. Totally my bad, as usual. Um, but uh, now that we have one spirit heart, I really feel like I can play this demon judgment all the way. Uh, hopefully we can make this work, although I don't necessarily know that it's going to be possible. Bombs are key. I don't think I want... I think I want to keep the fool card just in case. Bombs are key is probably, like, several times more valuable, but, uh... I mean, I don't want to take it, though. It's the hermit. It takes us directly to the shop. That's effectively, like, just a key. Come on, Demon Judgment. Work with me here. Hey! He gave me Horror Babylon, which is interesting. Not necessarily that valuable. What do we have here? We have uh, the fool and the hermit. I'll take the hermit. Uh, so now, getting permanent Polaroid Invincibility obviously has a ton of major advantages for us. If we could just snag a deal with the devil and get a Guppy's Paw, uh, that would be well worth the trade-off of having to give up the Hourglass, no question about it. So I'd say we leave for the next floor. Essentially, uh, getting this, uh, Hermit card is just gonna save us a key if we ever get enough money to be able to go back to the shop, which is not set in stone yet. Um, I would love to stay at, uh, this Horror Babylon State, but I really can't justify it. We're too early. Uh, I, there's no way I'm going to be able to coast on one Spirit Heart for the rest of the game. It just, it's just not going to happen. Um, obviously, I need both of these. I'm not going to use the Hermit card on this floor. I want to make sure I'm saving it until it's absolutely necessary. We've lost Horror Babylon, but, um, you know, obviously, we're still very strong in this run already. Just don't let Bum Friend get the money here. Uh, Doctor's Red, sorry, Teleport is not really going to be as useful for me. I would much rather... Yeah, I would much rather go with the Hourglass for now. Hourglass has been kind of eye-opening on this run so far. I never use it. it, it it's I would consider it bottom-tier space bar items, but occasionally. It's one of those items that doesn't really seem to have that many apologists, but there will be people who are uh, in the in the chat on Twitch, or they'll be uh, watching on YouTube, and they'll be commenting and saying, you know, it, like the Hourglass is actually pretty good, mostly because you can use it so often. Um, I, I don't disagree now. This is the first time probably in like 200 episodes that I've actually used it, uh, and I, I kind of like it. Not as much as some other items, but, uh, I mean, it's, it's fairly obvious which items I would replace it for in this situation, but still, it's pretty good. We'll get a key and two bombs from the cost of this bomb here. Tried to sneak in a secret room find there as well. No such luck, but that's okay. Now, up here, this is a room that I wish I had the hourglass for. See, now you have me saying it. I wish we had the hourglass on this room. Um, I do have the 9-volt, by the way. I, I can't, you know, gloss over that fact. So, it, it, the 9-volt is one of those items that, as of yet, is, like, completely worthless with uh, the hourglass, but I got it just to kind of future-proof the run uh, in case we replace that at a later date. Uh, so this is another room where it seems like the hourglass is definitely... Ah, maybe it actually screwed me on this room. Uh, because well, these guys are really throwing two bombs. Was he a champion or something? That was really weird. I didn't know that that was a possibility. Um, it's been kind of a bad floor right now. Necropolis is a difficult floor, obviously, uh, but in addition to that, 
you know, bad enemies. Uh, good drops with respect to consumable health, but apart from that, we're lacking a little bit. Uh, don't get hit here, and then Bum Friend can just pick up the money. Uh, those hearts are valuable, I suppose. And I would love Bum Friend to just, like, give me the uh, consumable, like, yeah, not next to the spikes if possible. And of course, just blue spikes all over the place in this fucking run. Uh, this is another hourglass worthy one, I would say. I like how it slows down the shots as well, especially against these guys. It makes it like a little bit more viable, I think. Uh, we are back to full health. I still do not have nearly enough money to go to the shop, unless the shop contained greed, in which case I would probably get more money for it. We are up to four cents, though. And Bum Friend's only taken money uh, on this floor so far that I couldn't actually get to, so I'm okay with that. Completely okay with that. We are about to possibly snag a deal with the devil. Oh, this is a tricky room. Uh, we are about to possibly snag a deal with the devil on this boss fight. I think we could pretty easily take out most bosses. In fact, crowd control is like the, the sore spot right now. It's really nice how the uh, slowing effect also stops these guys from having uh, incredible range, which I really enjoy. Now, hopefully there's an arcade or something over here so I can actually get enough money. Shouldn't have stood still there, but I knew I was out of the range of that turret, so I decided to take my chances. This may or may not have been the, the right course of action. Who knows, maybe if I had moved, I would have gotten in the range. I would have been taking a little bit more damage. Um, and of course, there's still enough, more than enough HP for me to do something with. Oh, bump friend, no, I can actually use this. All right, fine. You better pay out with something, spirit heart. That's, that's okay. And you know what? I actually will open up this golden chest for, no, bump friend. No, okay. I will still open up this golden chest uh, for one key and two bombs. And it gives us an HP upgrade. I feel pretty good about that. That almost seems like I knew what was in that one, because I invested a whole heck of a lot to get it. I uh, ended up working out, though. And I'm going to save uh, the hourglass, because obviously we're going up against a boss next. I'm hoping it's going to be a little bit nicer of a boss than the last ones. Not that those bosses were difficult. They were actually quite easy. The problem was they, they gave us items that were set in stone, which uh, were not items that I needed. Although, to be fair, little Chad has... Uh, you know, he's done his part so far, no question about it. That orbital may or may not be important later. Um, yeah, let's go fight our boss. It should be easy. I hope we snag a deal with the devil in there, no question about it. It's going to be bloat. I guess be careful what you wish for sometimes. This guy could basically give up... Uh, I'm not going to say any item. All right. Dropped like seven bombs there. And actually, the hourglass didn't really give us that much value there. Uh, that being said... Still pleased with the way this is going, sort of. Uh, this is the hardest version of Bloat, in my professional opinion. Obviously, like, both eyes are out from the start. Uh, that might be standard on Bloat. It's obviously not standard on Heat, though. He can still shoot beams from the sides. He spawns silkworms. And uh, every time he lands, he shoots, like, five bombs. And he can still spawn creep, of course. Otherwise, it would be too easy. I can walk right into that one. Um, the other problem is that we don't really have bombs to use against him. So, uh, in terms of, like, getting a deal with the devil, this might not have been the right, uh, fight to aim for. I still need to use the strategy where I, like, get behind it. The problem is, again, that, like, poison bombs he shoots so annoying. That was a pretty good round there. What did I get? Oh, it's the eye. I, I think I've, I haven't really internalized the fact that I don't have Peeper's Eye anymore, because I did have Peeper's Eye on the last run. Oh my god, I'm being torn up here. It's such a good run so far, especially with respect to damage. I would hate to see it, uh, lose a lot of its chance already. Um, please just fly up here so I can... Or actually, I'd rather fly down here so that I have a better chance to take you out. There we go. Okay, so we made it through at the very least. Um, we should look for the secret room so I can maybe get some better use out of this hermit card. Terrible fight there. You know, you're never going to hear me defend my actions there except by saying that Bloat... Especially that champion version of Bloat. That was so bad. It's one of the hardest enemies, uh... Hardest bosses that you can fight on the Acropolis 1. The good news is it's going to get easier from this point on. Uh, so now we need a very specific item room here. Or sorry, a very specific secret room. First off, it needs to be here. Yeah, I can't get that one even if uh, I wanted to. I was trying to get that in the secret room at the same time. Uh, first off, the secret room needs to be here. Which is not necessarily... Se oh, bump friend. Bump friend, I hate you so much. Uh, I should have known that that was going to happen and gone out the same way that I came in. But, uh, you know, hindsight's always twenty twenty. I guess we go down to the next floor and continue to hope for the best. This is still a situation where... Um, we can definitely save this run. What we're going to need, though, is, uh, I guess ideally, like, a Horror Babylon would be nice. Once we go down here, though, I'm just going to uh, take a sip of my coffee and we'll continue onwards. Mm-hmm. So, of course, we end up with Necropolis again. Just to keep twisting the knife, making things a little bit more difficult. As difficult as they need to be. This is it. You know, you can't have a triumph over adversity without adversity, though. So, 
Uh, I, I welcome the challenge, shall we say. People need to know that their president is not a crook. Uh, I will freeze these dudes. And now I'm at the point with the hourglass where I'm like, you know what, hourglass? You're all right, but uh, you know, I, I need to. I need more variety in my life now. I need. I need more power. It's, it doesn't do for me the things that it used to. Uh, I also have zero bombs, so I can't even open that tinted rock. I don't know what you, what you call it. Explode that tinted rock. Crumble that tinted rock. What am I? Sugar rays fly? I don't think so. There's another bombs or key pill. It's not worth it yet. It's not bad, but the reason it's not worth it yet is because I still want to go to the item room. After I go to the item room, I might be able to justify using this bombs or key pill. Um, and you know, it's probably better for us to take the bottle of pills. That's a funny joke. Um, it's probably better for us to take the bottle of pills because we are Kane and we already have the 9 volts, so we'll be able to get a lot of use out of it. Uh, so I think this is probably the right idea, but our rotation hasn't been amazing. It does have a health upgrade pill in it, I think. It definitely has tears upgrades, as we know. Um, so we got two spirit hearts out of that. Then I'm just going to use the bombs or key pill again. Effectively turn this bomb situation back into a key situation. I'm sorry, Hourglass. It's been genuinely fun. Don't get me wrong. But uh, hope I get a chance to use you a little bit more into the late game later. Uh, but for now, we've got uh, got to kind of bet on uh, Kane's natural skills. And that sweet eye patch. Look at that handsome devil. In any case, we are going to get uh, pills substantially more frequently than we would if we were playing a normal uh, bottle of pills run. Because we do have... Was I gonna say there? Well, we do have the uh, nine volt. In addition to that, of course, we are Kane, so all the pills are gonna be good. Obviously, this conveys uh, certain benefits that are not normal compared to, uh, yeah, like your average. But anyway, High Priestess, good card. Um, not something we're gonna use on the mom boss fight because it causes damage, and I don't know. We we, we don't want to take the uh, the uh, Hobbit card, Hermit card, Hobbit card. We don't want to take the uh, Hermit card with us because there's no shops in the late game, so. Like, there's no value in that, so I guess we might as well just stick with the uh, High Priestess card. And if we end up getting enough money for... Oh, this is a tight run. Yep, I had a feeling that was going to happen. If we end up getting enough money to make the uh, Hermit card worthwhile, then we'll come back and pick it up. We know where it is. Uh, for now, though, that is uh, that item room is fairly decent. But if we find the boss room, I'm probably just going to bum rush it. Uh, we don't have Mom's Purse, so we will be giving up Curved Horn, which is uh, unfortunate because it's a nice damage boost. Pick up the Polaroid. Uh, we don't. We don't really need this key. In fact, like what I'm, what I should be doing is probably using this key to break open that golden chest back there. Um, can I do that? Like, is that a situation that's possible, or was there something in the way, uh, as Dave Grohl might say? Obviously, that's a joke that a lot of people are not going to be happy about. Um, I have to use a bomb as well, so we can't really do that. Probably might be able to use like high priestess to break open a bridge or something. I don't know. That's that's not an exact science, so that was terrible. Um, that, that was even worse. Okay, it seems like that's a common trend. Um, this is a like the ideal orientation for all those hearts, even though I did still get hit. Tears upgrade is a okay by me. There's another tarot card. Is that two high priestess cards? That's stupid. <laughs> like we can't even use one on the boss. I think I'm just gonna honestly, ah, uh, you know, I can't justify just going to fight the boss straight away. It'd be too early, too rash, and uh, we might miss out on a shop that could potentially save us a lot of heartache in the future. So we might as well explore everything. Well, you know what I might as well do is just use the the hermit card. If I'm just gonna not use it, I might as well use it and see if something's in there, and then I know if I can just leave the floor in good conscience. Uh, the hermit card, I believe, is all the way back here, which is gonna be a little bit frustrating. And I can always go back and get that second. Uh, uh, High Priestess card on the way, because I can't take one with me anyway. It's just the map. It is the monster map. No, it's not really that important, honestly. The map, it's, it's okay. Compass would have been a, a... Like, I would have done anything for the compass, but I won't do that for the map. So, I think it's time we just fight the boss. It's been a little bit rushed, uh, but I think it's okay. We do have, do okay damage here. Obviously, I'm, I'm kind of relying on, hopefully, some better items in the future from... Uh, you know, even from Mom right here would be beautiful. Uh, I'm going to hopefully be able to go with Mom into breaking this Tinted Rock here. That'll do. Uh, I took way too much damage in a very short space of time. I probably should have saved that Spirit Heart until the fight was over, but, you know, I had other things on my mind, I suppose. Like taking out these uh, crowd-controlled Dingle Horns. We'll just wait a little longer. That'll be over. We get a range upgrade, which is, like, basically totally worthless. Uh, mom's underwear. Hopefully it doesn't smell like mom's spaghetti or dad's got some explaining to do. And we'll go down to the next floor. So I don't know where anything is here. Uh, in terms of where this shakes up relative to the last run, I think damage-wise we're doing better. Uh, but like, 
I shouldn't take that yet. Possibility-wise, I think we are in a tougher position. Uh, but it's also the kind of thing where, you know, we've talked about it more and more recently. Pills really can, uh, I shouldn't have picked that up. Pills really can, like, make your run. That was, I found pills. That pill is not going to make our run. Uh, but they really can save you. I found a boss straight away here, too, which is actually some of the value of which cannot be overstated. Uh, with this high priestess card, which I will save uh, as long as possible. If I can use that in, like, the Isaac fight, that would be amazing. We're going to be going up against Death, which is no slouch, but, uh, you know, I can shoot through him. So I should be able to do so a little bit of crowd control on his sights. Uh, we also have Poison Touch. I can't remember. That might have been the last run. This is, like, the last run of this run. So similar so far. Gonna provoke conspiracy theories about whether the, um... Binding of Isaac Mildermine mod has the same RNG. I, I'm fairly confident it does. It would probably take substantially more work to change the game engine uh, than to simply port it over as is. But in any case, uh, those zombies don't stand a chance, let's be honest. Even if I didn't take them out, they would have had a serious problem. There's a Spirit Heart that is going to be nice for us. And the head-on shots actually seem to work really well here. And this is a big moment of truth. Second level meat is okay. Nice little orbital for us that also is offensive. And we are going to get a lump of coal. Uh, and here's the thing. I don't know if lump of coal and technology are actually uh, effective in synergy with one another. But I have to imagine that they are. Uh, and I think this could be really, really good for us. Because obviously, uh, technology has like infinite range. So we can hit enemies from very far away. And yeah, I, to be fair, in literal, I don't know if it has infinite range. But it's got so much range that it, it hits the edge of the map. I don't know if it actually like exits the computer and fucking loops around the moon. Uh, I guess, an unlimited number of times, but uh, hopefully you understand what I'm saying there, and you're not just trying to be pedantic. I guess the reason it matters is because, you know, range is infinite. I don't know. Could it scale be with technology? Um, sure, you know, it seems like the bean gets a little fatter towards the end. That's pretty cool. Uh, and down to the next floor, I would say Utero 1 went pretty well for us, but uh, certainly I, I still do not feel like we're in a, a 1 position by any stretch of the imagination, which is apparently my new catchphrase. Uh, let us take out these enemies, and, uh, you know, it seems to be doing actually quite nicely for us. This is another I've found pills. I shouldn't be picking up money anymore. I should be letting Bum Friend do all that. Uh, and we'll continue moving onwards here. The only reason I should pick up money is because I have this, like, little thought in the back of my head. It's like, what if we come across a judgment, and that judgment is holding on to a great item? We'd never know, though. Uh, so do we want the Empress or the High Priestess? To be honest with you, it's probably smarter for us to roll with the, uh, Empress card, because if we're fighting a late-game boss, this would allow us to do a ton of damage to them. Please tell me I can dodge that shot. Yeah, I got kind of lucky there, but, um... Yeah, so if I'm, like, fighting an, an Isaac or a Blue Baby, I'd rather have, like, a continuous damage bonus than just, than just a one-time damage bonus. Uh... Cool. We can't really do anything with that heart for now, but it's nice to know that it exists. We're going to be in trouble once we get to the chest if we don't get some more keys, because I'm really relying on that to give us uh, a huge boost with respect to our uh, current chances. It's okay, though. It's another half part. And actually, you know what? Little Chad has been doing his part so far. He's been giving us a lot of hearts that we've been able to use to... Uh... The cat is touching my head. The cat is touching my head. What is he doing? We just got him back from the... Uh pet hotel that we kept him at when we were at PAX, and he's uh, excited to be here, I guess. Probably he's just like, whoa, was that your face in the Binding of Isaac? I've never seen that before. I found pills again. This is nuts. The world card we're going to use because I want to hold on to the Empress card. Um, I, I don't think, I, I realize that there are other special rooms here, of course. Uh, I don't think those are that valuable to us, in all honesty. I might just bump into that secret room momentarily. Because, uh, I doubt it's gonna be greedy. It could be greedy, but we'll probably kill him fairly easily. Uh, but I want Bumfriend to get the money, if at all possible. Because maybe he can pay out with more consumables. Yeah? Okay, there's Burnt Penny. We can't really do anything with that. Thank God he didn't give us the tick. That would have been a serious problem. Uh, and we're just gonna go, uh, all the way down to this boss room right now, because basically there's no reason not to. Uh, we'll, we'll finish off these enemies fairly easily. Might as well just walk this guy over just to minimize all of the chances. And I really think now that we have, um... Now that we're in this position, we have a pretty good chance on the Cathedral, but, you know, we're out of items, basically. We're, we're tapped out until we hit the end of the game. That was terrible damage for me to take. Uh, you can leave after the Mom's Heart boss fight. We only have two bombs which should deal with that fight. But with technology being what it is, I think we'll still be okay. Uh, I handled this health situation poorly, but it's fine. Uh, we're going to be at about a half hour going into the Cathedral. I'm okay with that. I think we have an okay chance. It's going to be... It's gonna be tight, there's no question about it, though. I mean, the Mom's Heart boss fight should be... I, I always get hit against that technology now. Uh, the Mom's Heart boss fight should be, like, a, a brief 
uh, kind of retreat for us. It should be very nice, even though we're not going to be able to do as much... Uh, it, it's going to be a little slower than your average Mom's Heart boss fight because we're not going to be able to do as much crowd control. I don't really want to use my bombs. I want to save those for the later game, if at all possible. Uh, but I should be able to take out the enemies extremely quickly. That was another spell of, like, really bad damage effect right there. I'm not picking up the tarot card yet because I don't necessarily want to, like, Zelda it over my head. Uh, and this is the kind of ideal permutation of enemies that we want here. Zambies that die very quickly. Uh, technologies that we can hit all in a row. Group of flies which we can take out extremely quickly. Enemies that are all in a row and die before uh, anything major can go wrong. We're definitely going to end up running into Chad here. Sorry, Chubb. I, I swear to God, it sounds like I'm intentionally making a mistake. I just reliably, like 100% of the time, make the mistake. I never accidentally say the right name. I probably overcorrected myself in the past, but uh, not that I can remember. It wouldn't really be the overcorrection. It would just be, it would be intentional at that point, I guess. Um, just going to keep this up, and Chubb is dead. Uh, pretty spell of uh, those kind of flies. Our pill is Tears Up. And now we have two tarot cards. We have, obviously, the Empress, great card. And we have the Magician, not such a great card. Uh, turns our laser purple, though. That's pretty cool. I like that a lot. Um, we might as well go back and get uh, the remaining health, and then we'll head up. And honestly, I do believe that if we can get one more key, that Empress card is going to give us a really good chance against Isaac. Uh, if we can stay at a half-heart interval, that would be exceptionally valuable. Might as well open this chest just to see. Bump friend, I am going to fight you in real life. That was obviously, I didn't want to waste a key there. I just put myself in a really bad situation. That's my own fault. Um, cool, so that sucks a little bit, but we'll go up to the next floor. Hopefully we'll find the boss room straight away. Otherwise, it's going to be a long trip. And if we could just get Guppy's Paw, man, it would change everything. Like, Guppy's Paw would win the game for us right now. We'd get 18 Spirit Hearts, pretty good. Um, that would also essentially give us four Babylon, which would allow us to finish, like, every room two to three times faster, in all likelihood. Um, it would just basically be awesome, so I would love if it happened. Uh, even if I could just trade, like, Spirit Hearts for, uh, or sorry, like, uh, Red Hearts for Spirit Hearts one-to-one right now might be a good idea. But there's no uh, opportunity to do that, so that's okay. We're not going to open up that golden chest unless we get a ton of keys on this floor, which I do not foresee happening. Again, if you're wondering why I'm not going back up to full health, it's because there is some value uh, in us staying at a half heart interval. So like two and a half hearts versus three, or three and a half hearts versus four, for example. Simply because um, that'll give us a, a brief period of invincibility with the Polaroid, which will allow us to run into the enemy, do some damage with our orbital, uh, and just be a little safer. Whereas, oh, we've got a secret room by accident. Whereas uh, if we just stay at full health, we could quite easily just get kind of comboed down all the way to the end. Oh, I, I took some of this money, but bum friend should really take the rest. That pill could be good. And he also dropped another bomb. And another bomb. And the pill is question marks. Teleported me over here. Um, I have to go back into that room, unfortunately, so now I have to spend a bomb. I mean, he gave me a bomb, so that's cool. But now I have to spend a, a bomb to go back and get my uh, Empress card. Because that is, like, maybe... I don't want to necessarily talk as if things are exceptionally dire, but that might be a saving grace for us in this run. It might be the saving grace for us in this, this run, even. Uh, but sure, this is fine. So, we did take a lot of damage on this room. That hurts a little bit. Now there, I know there's a uh, health available for me, so I don't want to necessarily pick it up unless there's uh, two HP, but there's not. Or like two half hearts or one a total HP. Or two total HP would actually be even better, but okay, there's our Empress card. And you know, why don't we go uh, left and down? But this is still the kind of run that I would consider to be a fairly long shot right now. A little scared. I don't want to accidentally hit those... Uh, Bomb flies when they're close to me, because they obviously just explode. That is a tears up pill, which seems to be uh, kind of the norm here. Bomb Fred didn't pay out, but that's okay. This is our boss room, actually. This is important. And there is a way for me to get one more full heart, so I've got to do that before we go to this boss room. Ah, but maybe Bomb Friend decides. Nah, it's okay, though. Um, yeah, so we'll take this one, and then I know that there's another half heart available out here. So between these and the Empress card, we might have a chance of getting down to the chest. If we get down to the chest, we have two items that we can open. Those items could potentially pay out with something beautiful. Uh, I'm very tempted to open those golden chests, don't get me wrong, but I, I think I, I'm confident-ish that we can at least stand a chance against Isaac here, although we're going to be hitting him so often that we might just basically do a repeat of the last run and just die against Isaac. Not that that's bad. I mean, that, that's still a pretty solid run compared to the, the average, I guess. Uh, maybe not the average for, like, Cobalt Street, but the average for me and other average players, I suppose. 
Um, yeah, it's gonna be tough. So we do have we do have four Babylon going on here. It's letting us do a little bit more damage. Obviously, you can see our technology beam is, is very strong. Uh, I, yeah, we're, we're screwed. <laughs> Come on, Meat Boy, chew him up just a little bit for me here. We do have uh, we do have uh, the Poison Touch ability, and that did allow us to do some more damage. Possibly we might have had a better chance if I'd been a little bit more uh, quick on the draw with running into him every time I got hit. I suppose we still do have a chance. I mean, we are in the third phase of Isaac. That's where we died on the last one. Oh, come on, Angel Fear. Just get in range of the laser, please. Make my life just the slightest bit easier. Okay. Very scary situation I find myself in here. Could still totally just like accidentally scrape into the beams of light from heaven. That heart won't save us, but we'll take it anyway. And we are going up to the uh, up to the chest, so we did surpass the last run. And we're gonna pick up Mom's pad and blood rites. That's beautiful. Um, so how oh my God, uh, Wrath has my face on him as well, and I'm dead. But what a beautiful wrath there that you can still see doing the jitterbug. As always, thanks for watching. I, I really enjoyed this run. Despite the fact we didn't make it all the way, I didn't even expect to make it past Isaac, so that's big news for me. As always, thanks for watching. I hope you guys enjoyed the episode. Make sure to show your support in the form of a like or a comment if you did. And of course, subscribe for more Isaac if you want to see more. As always, thanks for watching. I will see you next time.